The amount of times I've started vlogging in my car recently has been ridiculous, but it is March 4th or 5th? March 4th, so it is ECCC release day for the Funko Pops, and there's three that we really want, so I'm going out early in the morning to try and get them. I am a little bit later than usual, it's 7.45, our target opens at 8, takes me roughly about 8 to 10 minutes to get there, so I'll still get there before open, but the only pop that we want from Target is Charmander, and then I'm going to look and see if they have Pokemon cards, and then I'm going to come back home to try and order the Kenja, or Kenji, I don't know how you say it, I don't watch any anime, but Brandon's huge into My Hero Academia, so he really wants that one off the Funko shop, so I'm gonna try and secure that and come back home and use my PC, because it'll be easier than my phone. And then we're gonna go out to Hot Topic to get the Caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland, because I've been collecting a lot of the Alice in Wonderland pops, one of my favorite Disney movies, I have a few tattoos, love Alice in Wonderland, so we're gonna try and get that for me as well as a friend, and I know that the limit has been changed to two, so I'm really happy that I can still get both of them, so that way I can get one for me and one for Jasmine. And then I am also gonna be going to a city further away to go to Barnes & Nobles to hopefully get the Diamond Edition Vaporeon, but I'm definitely gonna get there a lot later than when they open, since uh, it opens at 10, just like our Hot Topic here. So I'm gonna get there a little bit late, but hopefully they'll still have some, so that's the game plan for today. All right, we made it to Target. I already saw some older gentlemen go inside, and I see their cars here. So the scalpers are here, but we just want the Charmander, so we should be fine. Nothing back here. They have some leftover Target con ones, but nothing I'm interested in. So that was a complete bust. Um, they didn't have him in the Funko Pop section, and I heard some guy, as I walked in, he went back up to the front and asked an associate up front about the Funko Pops, and then it kept going off on like their little walkies um, that they were asking if there were any release today. So I uh, asked a guy that I usually ask, and he looked it up, and it said that they're still in shipment, um, and there's no estimated delivery date. It said today was the estimated delivery date, but he said that they would have pulled them off the truck already. So they're definitely delayed and I can't order it on the app. It won't let me. And then it says delivery not available and shipping it says coming soon. So maybe at 9 a.m. I'll be able to order one. So I'm back home and you guys can see here delivery not available, shipping not available. When I click on shipping it says coming soon. So it's currently 8.39. I'm wondering if it'll go up at 9 and hopefully I'll be able to just order it because it doesn't seem like any of the stores are going to get them on time. Waiting on that, and then we're also waiting in the on the website here. I'm kind of mad that you can't like sign in or anything and like have all your info preloaded. Um, but this is the pop that we are going for. Two minutes. Two more minutes. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's glitching out. Oh my god, it's 9 a.m. What is happening? Zero. I got it in my cart. It says I'm in line to check out. Oh no. Let's go on to here and see if I can do it on my phone. I don't think I'm going to get it, guys. I'm in line to check out. Okay, here we go. Try it on our phone. I think last time I got through on the computer, but we're gonna see. <gasps> Does your order being processed? Uh... I got it. <laughs> we secured it. I did not get a confirmation email, so I don't know if I should try to buy another one in a different email. It's sold out? Okay. <sighs> so in four minutes, it's sold out. But I just got the confirmation email. Hey. Wow. 
Well, that was easy. So we just ordered the Charmander there. Okay. We're gonna call Barnes and Noble because they're actually open. Thank you for calling Barnes and Noble Booksellers. Barnes and Noble, this is Sandy. How can we help you? Hi, I was wondering if you guys had gotten in the uh, new Vaporeon Funko Pop that's a Barnes and Noble exclusive. Yes, we did. It launches on the 12th. The diamond one for ECC is supposed to launch today. The Pokemon one comes yeah. out on the 12th. Do you know why Barnes and Noble delayed theirs? I have no idea. I have a thing in the back that says, do not put it out before March. Oh, okay. Today is just not my day. So I went in there at like 9.40 and 10 o'clock comes around and they're not open. And I'm like, huh? They're open until 11. So I could have been on my way to Barnes & Noble by now. Barnes & Noble on the website, it officially says that the release date is today. So I'm gonna try and call again. Like I don't wanna be that person, but I'm supposed to start my job soon and I'm not gonna be off on the 12th to go and get it. I went to Starbucks. <sighs> I'm gonna end breakfast. Mm. I'm gonna call this other one that's really far Thank away. Thank you for calling. Hi, I was wondering if you guys had gotten in the Diamond Vaporeon Funko Pop that's a Barnes & Noble exclusive? We do, yes. We have six left at the moment. Okay, crazy question, but are you able to sell them today? Yeah. Okay. Um, I they live. Have done. They're arguing with me that they're not allowed to sell them until the twelfth. Uh, our our manager told us to start selling them today. You can't put one on hold because it's going to take me two and a half hours to get there. I just want one. Yeah. I, unfortunately, my manager is saying we're not permitted to hold them. Uh, are you guys doing the like uh, pickup if I buy it online? Yeah, we can we can do a this. Okay, can I do that through the phone with you? Uh, okay. Um, we well, yeah, I I why don't I go ahead and I can do it right here and now, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. So, oops. Okay. Let me just get it run into a rugby star. Thank um, you so much. I really, really appreciate it. My pleasure. You have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye bye. I'm so happy that she let me do that. I didn't think she was going to let me do it. So that was a success. Um, I didn't really get to film in there, but I'm very happy with what I got. So this first pop is kind of for either trade bait or maybe to sell down the road, I guess. I don't know anything about this, but they only got, I think, seven of these in and our Hot Topics limit was three per person, not two per person. And um, the guy that had been waiting there since 9 a.m. bought three and then he made his girlfriend buy the other three, so there was only one left. So I was like, I guess I can grab him. Um, if anything, I know there's a few Naruto Pops that Brandon doesn't have yet. So it'd be nice to hold on to this one and then if he goes up in price, sell them off so that way I can buy those to add to Brandon's collection. But I love the stickers, green, looks super cool. And then they did get in the Caterpillar. They had the most of the Caterpillar and it is beautiful. Look at this box art, oh my gosh. I am so excited about this. It is so pretty and he looks uh, amazing. They did such a good job with this sculpt. I love him so much. So happy that I got him. They had about, I think, 20 of these. They had a lot. And I was the only one that ended up grabbing this figure. The other people got that or the Garbage Pail Kids, which they only had four of the Garbage Pail Kid, but they had the most of these. And it's crazy because they said the other locations, uh, if they got any in, they didn't get all three. So I guess I lucked out. Super excited. I did get two of those. One of these is for my personal collection, and then the other one I picked up for my friend Jasmine. Okay, we're at Walmart. We're gonna see if they have any Pokemon cards. Nothing in toys either, but look at this. 
the Iron Giant. That's sick. I love that. Oh, and he opens. How do you do that? I don't know how toys work. How do you get them to open? Oh, I guess you just move it. That's so cool. I love that movie. Such a good movie. I really don't need to start collecting toys. I've already bought more action figures than I need to. I finally found some Pokemon cards. Okay, well that was successful, I guess, kind of. But, went to Barnes & Noble, got the pop. Oh, look at how cute. I'm very happy that I called in because they did not have any left. At Walmart had a few things, but nothing too crazy. And um, this one they had a decent selection if you're looking just to get some stuff to open. None of the new Shining Fates stuff. I didn't even ask because I don't know if they do vendors or not at Barnes & Noble like they do Target and Walmart. But they had Champion's Path and I do get a discount at Barnes & Noble. So Brenda and I have been slowly collecting these Pokeballs. And I don't even know what Pokemon cards come in here. Oof. We have Sun and Moon, Fates Collide, and Guardians Rising. So happy I only got one of those because nothing too crazy in there. No evolutions, no burning shadows, no vivid voltage, darkness of blaze, sword and shield, none of that. So okay, go back home for a recap of what we got today, I guess. So I'm back home now. I've been home for a while. I just edited all that footage that you guys saw. If you guys liked me going Funko Pop hunting, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I would hope if I ever do this in the future that it would be more in-store footage. A lot of it wasn't in-store footage because I had to order stuff online because the stores didn't have the stock here or it was delayed, which I've watched a few other videos now and I see that that's kind of a common issue. Really thankful and fortunate that I was actually able to get all of the exclusives that we were out to get today. So I just quickly want to recap and show you guys. So we did get two of the Alice in Wonderland Caterpillar Funko Pops, one for me and one for my friend Jasmine. I did also get the Buffed Chopper uh, Pop for trade, so I think I might sell this and decide to buy Brandon some of his Naruto Pops that he's missing and kind of surprise him with that, so we'll see. And I did go to another Hot Topic and they had like 25 of these, so I don't know what's up with this. I have seen some crazy sold prices, but that might just be the hype right now. I'm not exactly sure. Vaporeon from Barnes & Noble in Insane. I think that they did a wonderful job with this. It is so cute. And then in terms of Pokemon cards, since we also hunted for those today, I got a few things, nothing too crazy. Hopefully I'll be able to do some more Pokemon unboxings. If you guys missed my newest one, because I have done a few in the past, I managed to pull a crazy crazy card and it's spoiled it's spoiled in the thumbnail but go check it out if you guys missed it i think that was my previous upload if i'm thinking of my schedule right definitely recommend you watch it so i got some stuff to kind of stock up on and open as you know it's kind of hard to find anything anymore um i got one vivid voltage uh pack here from walmart and then i got two darkness ablaze packs which i'm kind of excited about i really like darkness ablaze i think it's kind of underrated so happy to pick those up 
These are packaged by a third party. We got this tin with the three packs that I showed you guys in the car. Haven't opened those. None of the stuff has been opened yet. And then lastly, we got the Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. Really happy and stoked that I picked this up. I do get my 10% off at Barnes & Noble. So that was nice to get $5 off of this. I really liked that. Um, we have two of these already sealed. So I'm not exactly sure if we're going to open this or not. Or if we're going to leave it sealed. I'd like to open at least one of them. Because I really want the promo card that's in here. So maybe we'll do that in a future unboxing video. If my last one does pretty good. Maybe we'll open this in a video. But I hope that you guys managed to get everything that you were looking for. With this uh, con release. I know it was tough on a lot of people but I'm very thankful again very happy and excited to slowly grow our collection again you know trying to keep it small but it's kind of impossible I guess once you collect Funko Pops you're kind of stuck huh but I love you guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you again very very soon peace out Girl Scouts